This is Ride News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. Today, we're talking about an e-bike on steroids, Uber's new discrimination problem, and a plan to make EV recharging instantaneous. Now, here's the latest in all things mobility. Super 73 is back with a more powerful advanced tech electric assist bike called the R series. A new 960 watt hour battery is the most powerful e-bike yet and allows for a range of 40 miles on throttle with a top speed of 28 miles per hour. The new R series also features an all aluminum frame as well as optional advanced off-road suspension and four piston hydraulic brakes for maximum attack. Super 73 also developed a new Badger tire that blends bicycle and motorcycle technologies to improve traction and stability while reducing road noise. This new bike also comes with an app-based anti-theft system, geolocation tracking, crash detection, and four different riding modes. Jeez, what doesn't this thing have? A built-in toaster oven? The R series starts at $2,995 and the premium RX model will run you $3,495. I mean, they're cool and all, but for three grand, if they can't reheat my enchiladas on the road, are they really worth it? No electric bike can ever do that. Precisely why I don't own one. Uber just gave their drivers the green light to Ariana Grande, any passenger they see fit. Thank you, next. Drivers now have the ability to look at a passenger's destination before they decide to pick the passenger up. This may seem harmless at first, but it actually opens a Pandora's box of discrimination. Oh, this person's going to the projects? I don't want a poor person in my car. Next. I'm a vegan and I don't want to take this person to McDonald's. Next. This person is, okay, you get the idea. Why is this happening? Well, there's a new labor law in California called AB5. It entitles contract workers in the state to more rights. Uber sort of had no choice but to give drivers more information about prospective passengers. Only problem with that is some fear that minorities and low income riders will find it more difficult to get home. Wow, California, way to make a great law and have it spectacularly backfire. Let's face it. Waiting isn't fun. It doesn't matter if you're stuck behind someone with three loaded shopping carts at the supermarket or counting the minutes in the line to Space Mountain as other Disney fanatics gloat about their ridiculous pin collections. You see this one, guys? I got this one in a blind trade with a cast member and he was so angry. Yeah, imagine two hours of that. Waiting stinks. It's also a big reason many people are reluctant to put an electric car in their garage or driveway. Recharge times can take anywhere from 30 minutes to 24 hours, depending on where and how you're plugging in. That's why General Motors is developing new battery tech that can recharge an EV in less than 10 minutes, or about the amount of time you'd spend filling up with dinosaur juice at a gas station. This next step in battery charging is scalable too. That means it could find its way into sedans, wagons, sports cars, SUVs, or pickup trucks. GM plans on introducing this cutting edge battery tech in several years, which sadly means just a little more waiting. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. For more tech news, join us over at ride.tech and be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. <sighs>